friends and neighbors, this is Chuck at Sheraton Park Farms. Welcome back to the farm. Saturday morning, it's, it's about uh, 5.30. Um, markets are pretty much over. Um, and today, we're going to do something that Son and I used to do pretty regular. Um, kind of a tradition in our families and sort of where we come from. Today, we're going to make old-fashioned apple butter um, outside in a big copper kettle. Um, with a lot of food, a lot of friends, and uh, it's just gonna be a big event. So we're gonna film some of that today. So hang out with us, and uh, let's show you how, uh, how we make apple butter uh, here in the South. Stick around. So tools of the trade, um, we use a big copper pot. Um, last time we done this, I think we done three bushels of apples and had plenty of room, so we're gonna do five today. And then we keep stirring this with a big paddle. Is that called that paddle or just thing? Got holes in it so that the apples flop, just kind of flow through. And you gotta keep stirring uh, so that it don't stick uh, on the bottom. A lot of folks will cut their apples up uh, and then cook them the night before. We did cook one bushel up um, and put them in to start with, kind of as sauce, along with two gallons of apple cider, just to get started. Then after that, um, we'll peel, core, and slice um, the rest of the apples. Where your disc golf and stuff at? And then once we get those done up, we toss them over in the uh, in the pot. Picked up a couple of these cores and peelers on Amazon. I'll post a link in the description down below on those. These things work great. The only issue that I've got is that the throat on the mount just doesn't fit on the table. So we had to uh, get a block of wood and do that. So, And then all the scrap, peelings, cores, that type of thing. Looks like some good chicken food or something a little treat for the pigs. It's a bushel little part. <laughs> Cause that is big spacious one. I'm trying to get air. Sorta. Kind of. Let me get here. Go real slow. <laughs> and this is where you get into the rhythm. <laughs> Yeah, there's a golfer too, they tell me. Oh, it looks so pretty. So 
So 50 pounds of sugar, 14 pounds of brown sugar, and um, how much cinnamon and clove? Three cinnamon oils. Three cinnamon oils. One clove oil. About a... Uh, Got that much? About a quarter cup of... About a quarter cup of cinnamon. cinnamon. About a quarter cup of cinnamon. <laughs> Maybe an eighth of a cup of clove. That's a lot of spice. <laughs> Season to taste. Season to taste, yes. Put any salt in it? I have not. I no thought salt. about it. But I'm not going to. A little cayenne? No. <laughs> so the apple butter is almost done. And um, we're getting our jars ready. Getting our assembly line ready. So it's about uh, 6.30, uh, so we've been at this for 12 hours now, and uh, just a couple of numbers, um, five bushel of apples, 50 pounds of white sugar, uh, 14 pounds of brown sugar, and we ended up with 152, yeah, we ended up with 152 pints of, uh, of apple butter. But the best part of the day was having everybody here. Um, we just had a ton of friends, family, uh, some of our customers uh, from the markets came over, um, done a bunch of farm tours today, uh, laughed, had some really good food. Um, I mean, it's just been an awesome day. So I think um, we'll probably plan on doing this again uh, next year. We'll, uh, you know, we'll kind of see how it goes. Maybe we'll do something different, but uh, all in all, Fantastic day, a lot of good folks here, and uh, we got some we got some apple butter put back, so it was a uh, it was a good time. But anyway, I'm gonna post a link to a couple other videos over here, other stuff we got going on. If you've not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, follow along. As you can see, uh, you never know what we're gonna what we're gonna be doing around here. But uh, appreciate y'all watching. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks.